case. Archbishop Charles Jason Gordon, the suffragan bishops also here present, my dear brothers in the priesthood, my dear brothers and sisters, you must have noticed that at the beginning of the celebration, I was a bit nervous. It is not a simple ceremony that we just had now. And for me, as an apostolic nuncio, I want to tell you that it was my first experience, even though I'm now nuncio into my sixth year. It doesn't happen quite often because we have many bishops, but fewer archbishops and metropolitan archbishops. I thank all of you for coming this evening to support your bishop. I came just to represent, that's first and foremost, to represent the Holy Father. That is why I introduced the Mass. But then once the Archbishop received his pallium, he takes over. It is his cathedral. And then he goes on with the celebration. My little reflection is going to have two parts. The first part is just telling you again what this pallium is all about. The pallium is made up, is made from lamb's wool to remind us of the fact that the person wearing it is a shepherd. Originally, it was something reserved for the Pope as a successor of Peter. Why? Now I take us back to the Bible. I hope you remember that when Jesus called his disciples, he did not call them to become shepherds. We read our Bible. Mark chapter 1, verse 17. As he was going by, he saw Peter, and he called him, and he said, follow me, and I will make you fisher. He didn't say, I will make you shepherd. He didn't say, I will make you pastor. He said, I will make you fisher of men. We read it again in Matthew chapter 4, verses 18 and 19. The same thing. Come, Peter and his friends, brothers, follow me. I will make you fishers of men. Now, I hope you know there is a difference between a fisher and a fish farmer. A fish farmer has got fish ponds, and so the fish ponds belong to him or belong to her. The fisher, the fish does not belong to him. He goes into the open sea, whether it is a river, a lake, or the ocean. He gets the fish. Until the fisher catches the fish, the fish does not belong to anybody. It is anonymous. The fisher catches it and gives it a belonging. That is what Jesus called his disciples to do. Go out there, catch them, and make them.